required to be the best product manager? Skills required to be the best project manager. So the skills that are required to be the best project manager are like the first and the foremost is the communication skills. And then you have other skills like the organizational and planning skills the budgeting skills, the conflict management skills, the negotiation skills, the leadership skills, <clears throat> and the team building and motivation skills. These are the skills that are required to be the best project manager. If you carry these things in your bag, then uh, obviously, <coughs> Uh, it is expected that obviously you would successfully do the project. But usually for people from this part of the world, for them it's like uh, 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 the best project manager is one who has to be more technical than me. Unfortunately, uh, uh, India does not produce the best project managers, or rather, uh, even when you find few of them, they are exceptions. They are not the regular example. Exceptions do not become regular examples. What I'm trying to tell you is that uh, if you say, no, 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 see, the CEO of Google is such a good manager, if you say, uh, the CEO of Microsoft and most of these companies have Indians as the vice presidents. Great, I appreciate it, but most of these guys, all of these guys are not, never made in India. These guys either do their masters abroad in America and then they work with a Fortune 500 company for a long time and they turn out to be the very best project managers, right? Uh, Indians are respected worldwide for being very honest, loyal, hardworking, technical resource. One of the reasons for that is the culture in this country. If you look at the Middle East, if you look at most of the Lebanese, uh, they make managers actually. That's their culture. And to an extent, even if you look at like Egyptians, uh, they, they all are someone who, who are eyeing for the management positions. So a, a good, uh, see there is difference between uh, a project manager and a best project manager. Personally, I have seen the best of the project managers. They come from America, Europe, South Africa. These guys do not have very strong academics. They don't have a, a kind of degree from IIM. They're not even engineers. Um, the mere graduates, like you know, someone who's a, a BA English literature, or, or or I've seen guys who are like only diploma holders. But uh, when they come to UAE, Saudi Arabia, they are like they become general managers. Like you know, they're the vice presidents of the company. But all due regards, let me tell you, they're very good at management. So the skills that are required to be the best project manager are, some, are something that you're seeing on my screen right now. And out of all these skills that you see on my screen. The first and the foremost to be the best project manager are the communication skills. This is the most important among all of them. Only when you have good communication skills, you will be able to do the last four of them. The last four depend on the first one. Only when you have good communication skills, you will be able to resolve the conflicts.
on a project you would have conflict coming up so you cannot run away from that especially in a multicultural environment if you're working in dubai you have people from different countries working under you you are the project manager and firstly as a project manager one should not be ethnocentric ethnocentric is a guy who feels his culture is good so as a project manager you need to respect the cultures and 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 in a multicultural environment you have lots of conflicts coming up between the stakeholders between people working on a project so you need to have excellent communication skills to resolve the conflicts this is covered in detail in pimbok in resource management topic in fact all the last four of them are part of project resource management and as a project manager you need to have excellent negotiation skills negotiation skills is not only negotiating the price <clears throat> negotiation skills include see as a project manager you know my job is to coordinate efforts with the functional managers my job is to coordinate effort with the change manager with the resource manager with the purchase manager and 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 these guys are not reporting to me mind it uh, most of these guys are more senior than me they have played lots of politics so how do i handle them is all about the negotiation skills negotiation is like getting things done the way how you want them to happen you have to get your things done from the the change manager the material manager say say i want an item a from the material manager and i know the the psychology of this guy is like if i go and ask him a he would say no 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 this is kept for some other project so what i do is i don't go and directly ask him for what i want and what i do is i go and i tell him a i know his answer would be b and then i would tell him c then he himself will ask me look i have this item lying with me uh, do you think you could make use of this or what so he would rather bring it and keep it in front of me at the first place i wanted this item only but i i did not ask him straight away because i knew this guy is not going to give me if i ask him straight so i i have to play my card like that so as a project manager when you have good communication skills you have excellent vocabulary and if you have good negotiation skills then uh, oh god you you are like nothing less than james bond let me tell you in project management don't take it the other way <laughs> so uh, when you have excellent communication skills you would be able to resolve the conflicts you would be able to apply different negotiation skills you have different negotiation tactics that you would learn about in the pimbok guide um uh, in resource management you come across these things you should know what tactic you have to use in which situation and similarly there are different conflict resolution techniques you must know which technique you have to use in a given situation so in the exam he would ask you situational questions so you should be well aware about in a kind of situation what conflict uh, resolution technique would be used there are different techniques that you're going to learn about similarly there are different negotiation tactics and then also that uh, uh, the best project manager is one who has the leadership skills mind it leadership is also situational depending upon the mix and match of your team 
you have to use an appropriate leadership style like with a different leadership style don't expect that the team should tune your way it might take a lot of time your project itself might be for four months and if you want to train the guys uh, then that itself might take more than one month so you're losing on time so leadership is situation depending upon the mix and match of the team you should know which is an appropriate leadership style that you have to apply on your project so the best project manager is one who has all these skills in his bag on top of this if he's technical it's well and good it's not a curse it's a boon actually but thinking that you know if someone who's technically very strong out of 10 you could give 9 marks to him or technically but he does not have these skills he has a strong mother tongue influence on his language and people don't even understand what he's speaking how do you expect this guy to perform in a multicultural environment so the project manager's role is to put all the pieces of the project together into one cohesive whole so that the project gets done faster cheaper and with fewer resources while meeting the project objectives so this is actually what the project manager has to do the few places where they need a, a, a techno management kind of guy where you need to have like say 40% technical knowledge and 60% people management people skills and the other projects where you just need to have the people skills only you don't even need to have technical knowledge at all but unfortunately um it is said that bad habits die hard if you look at like in india in middle east they want a project manager having very strong domain knowledge they say that they want a project manager for sap implementation project who needs to have very strong domain knowledge uh, and unfortunately a project manager does not even have time to use the uh, analytical part of his brain in the sense the technical side of it as a project manager uh, more than 90% of your time will go in communication and coordination you not even have time actually to look into the or rather peep into the technical side if someone is uh, doing that <clears throat> what happens with uh, you know a uh, 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 a typical technical guy like say i i am a civil engineer per se you know for the last 16 years i have been working as civil engineer and 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 now i got promoted i did my pmp i became a project manager and after becoming a project manager what i do is uh, rather than taking care of my baby my project i go and peep into the department from where i belong technically and mind it if you go and peep in that department it means there is something else you're not doing on the management side so my job is like i i might have i was a project i was a civil engineer for a long time and then i am a project manager now my job is to carry the project on my shoulder walk through the rough water and land the project safely on the other shore if i start peeping here and there the, the project would drop out of my shoulder and i am answerable for that so someone else who is a civil engineer on this project he gets paid for for bringing in the technical expertise so you have to know how to how to make use of these uh, 
uh, SMEs, the technical guys from different departments, and how do you get things done from them? If you look at a project manager's operating environment, the project manager has to coordinate efforts with people on top of him, the top management, the sponsor, the boss. He has to coordinate efforts with his colleagues and people working under him, the staff, and the project manager has to coordinate efforts with the suppliers, the subcontractors, he has to coordinate efforts with the government and the external users. To live in such a challenging environment, the project manager should, should have the skills that we were talking about some time back. That's what he has to carry in his bag. It's not about, if you look at his working environment, it's not about how technical he is, like how, how capable he is of taking these care of all these departments, like internal and external users. 